Hello, fellow world savers, and welcome back to Let's Play Brave Story New Traveler. When we last left off, we entered Sakawa, found out their elder was sick, met a giant water kid named Sagareth who had a very troublesome son, and now that we've had our bellies full at the inn, we're going to head south to Lyris. While off screen, I did do a little bit of grinding. I got some extra gold, got both Tatsuya and Yuno to level 6, where Here Yuno learned a new Reverse skill. And here we have some new enemies, Vespids, who are incense, giant, the hornets, Satan spawn, whatever you want to refer to them as. You know, gets a nice critical hit. These guys tend to die in one hit, which is great. The preemptive strike, we should take no damage. An interesting, well, we got hit, but one damage isn't a huge deal. An interesting thing about this game is since brave points do refresh on uh, whenever you hit an enemy, you can just keep healing your party member to do some damage and just get all that brave points back. I'm hoping by the time we get back up to the cave later on, we'll be level around 9. That should make us get to the cave fairly easily. And here we are, Lyris. And you get a battle right here. Um, I should go to escape. Fantastic. That way, I don't have to cut anything out, and we can just enter Lyris. Lyris, City of Arts. Looks kind of run down for such a nice city. Did you hear? A Highlander hailing from Vahadina is about to make an announcement. What about, I wonder? Ooh, the Highlanders, who are also the people of the Fireworms. Which, you know, did show some interest in joining back in Lanka, which was done off-screen. Presenting Chief Melody of Vahadina Branch, here to make an urgent announcement. Since her name is Blue, we might have something to do with her later. Your attention, please. Countrymen, I have traveled here to Lyris for one reason alone. To enlist new Highlanders. Oh! Over the past few years, monsters have plagued Vahadina in increasing numbers. And, lack the, and we lack the manpower to eradicate them, or to conduct needed forays into the ruins. Make no mistake, our work will require to you leave your home behind and face many dangers. Well, I'm not from this world, and Yuno already left her home, so we should be perfect candidates. But if you think any of you have the metal, I ask now to consider applying. Our need is urgent, hence we place no restrictions on age or gender. Great, because we're both kids. However, we are accepting tough three-man teams only. God dang it! We are one short. Oh. I will leave a Q&A and the exam details to Chief Kite, your local branch head. Thank you for your time. Well. So much for that dream. Guess we'll just continue on with our lives. Details will be posted by the branch. Interested parties can check there. I hope to be testing many of you soon. Any questions? Um, I've got one, sir. Why do we have to apply in threes? Highlanders value solid teamwork over personal valor. What good is... Uh, what good to us is a veteran of a hundred battles who throws discipline to the wind? No, we want three men who fight as one, not one man who fights like three. Why not both? As in, one man who fights like three, but you have three of them. I hope you're not applying. What the hell does that mean? Chief Melody spoke of the dangers of our work. Children have no place with us, but she said no restriction on age. Come back once you grow another 30 scepters, muffin. Well, that was rude. Muffin? I'll show you a muffin. Ugh, he won't get away with saying that, Tatsuya. I have a reputation to look after, even if you don't. Hmm. Well, first things first, we need a third man. Once we're Highlanders, we can take jobs at the branch. And make lots of money and have free room across the border. It's a cushy job. But mostly, I want to wipe that grin off that chief loser's face. We have to find another teammate, you hear me? Just wait, jerk. This muffin's gonna bake you. Come on, Tatsuya. Alright, well, now that we are in Lyris, I'm going to explore the town a little bit and maybe buy some gear. I'll see you all in a second. 
All right, guys, welcome back. Explore most of the town. Not much here. Same old, same old armor. Uh, we learned that the town is divided into two, and this is the lower district. So let's keep moving on. Ack! Poor Yuno. Just getting hit every time. What? What's the big idea? Why is everyone trying to run me over? <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry, <sighs> but I'm in a hurry. Why the big rush? Did something happen? Yes, big trouble. A kid from Sakawa has gone missing. I have to find some Highlanders to help with the search. Whoa, a kid? What kid? Sarkris boy, Minos. Please, I have to get to the branch. Sorry for running into you. M Minos? Isn't that the kid we ran into? No, it's a kid he that ran into you. We can't let anything happen to him, Tatsuya. Come on, we have to go back to Sakawa. All right, a nice and urgent musing. But music, I'm going to jump cut right to Sakawa. See you there. All right, guys, we're back at Sakawa. Did a little bit of grinding, hit level eight, and then some. So let's enter the town and see what's going on. We're immediately greeted with some fast-paced music, so we know we're in some sort of rush. So who are we gonna talk to? How are we gonna figure out what's going on? Well, there's a kid down here by the docks. He might know something. Minos went to that cave. Said he was gonna get some medicine to make the elder better. I wish I could have gone. Last time I was here, when I was off screen, I talked to that kid and he originally told us about the cave and how he couldn't go because his parents said it was dangerous. We also learned the elder was very sick and couldn't talk to anybody at the moment. But we know where to go now. And we're gonna head west to the cave. Hopefully we can encounters to a minimum. Nope! Jinxed it. I'll just do this on screen, because I don't see why not. If I didn't mention it earlier, uh, she did learn a, Ooh, she learned another one, too. Let's go ahead and show these off while I'm here. Well, Poison Arrow, the Rabbit Mage. Well, if it didn't one hit KO, it would have inflicted poison on the enemy. Which is very nice. Tatsu still has no reverse skills. So he's still just a hammer. Now let's try Sniper's Eye. A bow shot aimed at the enemy's vitals, and it guarantees crit. Which, I mean, if you're gonna get a crit, right it's gonna kill a lot of enemies. Only bad part is, she cannot get the extra attack from it. Let's go ahead and clear this out, and we can move on with our lives. Alright, last enemy is dead. More red snail shells, so we can start making those... Bravery diagrams now to get us extra BP. We're really not hurting for BP at the moment, so it's not a humongous deal. Okay. Battle cut out. Save some time in the video. Head to the Seaside Cave. Now, enemies in here, if you were in here earlier at level 5, you would have got your butt handed to you. Guys in here are just not friendly towards characters. In fact, a lot of times they'll come in groups of 4. So we have two new enemies here. We have Piranhas and Liz Lizaraptor. Two of each. Tatsuki is going to swing. We're going to use that good old sniper's eye to get some guaranteed crits and hopefully kill these guys in one shot. No, even with a crit 35 damage, that lizard is still alive. These guys can do multiple hits too with Tail Fury. And when they all do it at once, your health drops. Yuna's already at 45 health just from one rotation. This is up to just a great kind of start. Oh god, that thing's still alive. Thankfully, I got Yuna to get an extra attack. Yuna gets two. Oh, I forgot they can call for help, too. This is gonna be just grand. Of course, the best way to go about this is targeting the same ones. Get them weakened so you can pray for some extra attacks. And it's not looking like they're gonna give me much. So, try to get rid of the Garanas first, just because they call for help and it's not very fun. We get an extra attack, which... Tatsuki hits level 9, which is nice, but this Lizard Raptor is going to die this next round. And afterwards, we have Tatsuki at 57 health and Yuno at 31, just from one fight. So this area hurts. Get a decent chunk of experience. Yuno will level up a little later, next battle. Thankfully, she's got a fairly inexpensive heal. I mean, just one heal breaks it right up. Treasure Sensor. She also learned this new reverse skill. It reveals the number of items hidden nearby. Go and cast it. 
missing four of the treasures here. So this is good for the completionist's sake, which I'll be doing. New Raptors, Anguis. Anguis, I don't know how to pronounce her names. So let's let's go ahead and just use nothing to see how much damage I can do and see how many techs it's gonna take to kill these things. Okay, so I'll take one rotation. You don't get to level, which is great. Every bit of levels help. So we'll just use them, double up on the enemies. Because Yuno can't kill with the crit. Oh, glare. Cancel. So that cancels the action of the enemy they target. So I just lost my action. Thankfully, Yuno already got hers off. So we'll do the switcheroo here. Yuno will hit one enemy. Tatsuya will hopefully hit the other. Maybe I'll get lucky, get an extra attack, and clear them both in one go. Not so much. So Yuno will finish this guy off. Fantastic. Get some more Glisten Stones, which just sell for a lot of money. Well some money. Gleam still to sell for even more. Treasure chest. Enemy. Here we go. That battle went a lot like the first one. But, got him everyone healed up. 105 Tims. Extra money is always nice. Uh, now we get to a fork in the road. Let's just pick a direction and go. I've got a bad habit of going the right direction first, which I hate. Back on track. So at this point, all the battles should be getting cut out, just because we've seen all the enemies here. Thankfully, got me a treasure. Strength Diagram 1. Let's go ahead and see what that requires. Because extra attack's always nice, which we can make. Which is good. I'm going to make two of those. Don't need speed. Don't really need bravery diagrams. I wouldn't mind getting one of those later. I don't really use items, so we'll grab two of these. Oh, yeah. Might rings. Which I just made. I don't know why I thought this was something different. My bad. My bad. Okay, equipment. Tatsuya. Give him a might ring. Give her a might ring just for the extra hits. Go back this way. Maybe find more treasure. Of course we're going to find new enemies. That's a given. Go left. Another fork in the road. Go left first, please. That's the way they don't expect you to go. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. That battle nearly wasn't as painful as I thought it would be. Okay, so, we went the right direction. I'm going to grab a heal. Because I'm right here. And I'm going to go dig for some treasure. I'm going to meet you guys back here once I grab it. Alright guys, I'm kind of stupid and forgot to come back to the Elder's house. Um... You go in the elder's house in the village where you talk to the kid, and you see this strange guy walking around. Why did Sagrath have to go and do something crazy like that? Where are Milos and Sagrath? We found Milos' footprints a short ways into the seaside cave. And then this huge monster attacked. I didn't see a monster. Caught us off guard. You can see for yourself how we fared. Sagrath's the only one that made it, and what does he do? He takes off into the cave all by himself to rescue his son. Sagar's been my pal forever. Minos is like a son to me. So why'd that fool have to leave me behind? I told him to wait for help from Lyris. And here we are. Come on, Tatsuya, let's go rescue them. Hey, hold your Darbabas. You're just kids. That's crazy talk. I thought you were worried. Come on, Tatsuya knows how to use a sword. I sure do. But, but wait a minute. Ah, do you need me to prove it? By beating you up? No, no, that's alright. Fine. I'll go with you. I know my way around the cave. We have to head due west from Sakawa to get there. Okay, let's hurry. Which joins your party as a guest. I was just there. I should know. Okay. He joins our party. He is level 5. Whew. I forgot to get him when I went to level. So, he has his own equipment can't take anything from him. He doesn't know any reversals on his own. We should be fine. The next boss is a pushover. So, I'll see you in a sec. Alright, guys. We are back. We had to get in a few fights to get Kikima and Tatsuya's beauty skill. And we had to get him a level so he can learn a healing ability. 
Now let's see what this fuss is about with the giant. Okay. Wah! Pop! Sawgriff! Booga 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 boo! Look out! Even though it looks like it completely missed, you know is now unconscious. You know. Now you're in for it, Krabby. Looks like me and Kikima have to do this ourselves. But, but wait, what's going on? Sagrath is getting up. Kikima. Sagrath, you're alive. Come on, you gotta help us put this thing on the half shell. With pleasure. Sagrath joins our party. Alright. This boss is an absolute pushover. I'm reluctant to even call him a boss. Once this mini scene gets out of the way, we're gonna start swinging. Tatsu's gonna swing. Actually, Tatsu's gonna use a unity between himself and Kikima. Ideal for scaling giant fists good on aquatic enemies. It's made for this boss fight. Sadly, Kikima's only in our party just for this cave, and then he goes away, because we can't mess with his equipment at all. Kikima's gonna swing, because he has a higher attack stat than Tatsuya. And Sagra is going to use his Bravura skill Focus Slash. Because it will do more damage than his base attack, and it's still attacks in the same turn. And Kikima gets a crit. That's great. So once again, switch, switch fillet, swing, reverse skill. On repeat until the boss dies. You shouldn't even need to heal during this fight, but if you do, that's why we got Kikima to six. So he can use his healing ability called emergency like weapons. This. And we're getting crits too, that's gonna help us make his boss fight go by faster. Switch fillet, swings, focus slash. He's gonna go in his shell and use another kind of AoE called Quake. Once again, you're not gonna need to heal at all during this fight. Don't worry about it. Because I'm not. Quake, a little bit of damage, not that bad. Like this. Alright, there you go. Easy, right? Boss is dead. Oh, no, he's not. We have one more round to do. My bad. Normally, it doesn't take but three cycles. So, after this, he's dead. He won't survive another cycle. He can. He didn't have any help for it. Yep, there he goes. One hit. I was off by one hit. I wouldn't be surprised if he had one HP. Because I don't know their total HP values. He reaches level seven. All that matters is he's gone after this area anyway. Get a nice shot at EXP, too bad you know wasn't a part of it. No big deal. Huh, we we got it. Huh, huh, looks like we took care of him. Ouch, still hurts. Uh -huh. Minus, is he safe? No worries, everyone's still in one piece. Whew, thank God, or thank goodness. P Pop, I'm so sorry. You had me worried sick. Well, looks like things are under control now. Oh, oh no, I forgot about my delivery. Sorry folks, but I gotta make tracks. Kikima, thanks. Ah, uh, none of that. You wanna thank somebody, thank the little brave and the missus. Later. With the greatest run animation in the world, he takes his departure. Tatsuya and Yuno, was it? I don't know where we'd be if you two didn't show up. Much obliged. Yeah, thanks for saving me. Oh, cut it out. You're making us blush, right, Tatsuya? Pop, I'm hungry. Haha, <laughs> nothing phases you, huh, Minos? Little rascal. Huh? What in the world have you got in your belly? Whoa! Who turned on the light? Do water can glow when they're hungry? I found the stone while I was looking for Tidewort. What's going on? 
I am one pillar of the goddess's power. At my command, a pathway will open. To whichsoever travelers she beckons. You have proven yourself brave. and a trustworthy vessel for my power. So hold your sword aloft, traveler. I, the spirit of courage in the face of adversity, shall grant you the power to drive the dark away. There we go, fellow world savers. We get our first gemstone, causing our sword to change shape. Grants us the ability to use Bravura skills as well. And we learn Light Spark. You, you're a traveler? That is so cool. So this is one of those gemstones you're looking for. A real live traveler. Sakes alive, so what's the other world like? We can talk each other's ears off once we get home. Let's get out of here. Milo's made me hungry. Alright. Next time on Brave Story New Travel, we will turn to Sakawa to see what's going on. Maybe see where we can go next. Will Sakura join our party? Tune in next time. Peace out, guys. <laughs>